Hey guys, it's Tony Tom Logan back with another video for you and today I'm going to be showing you the uh, finished or as near as damn it finished Envy rig and explain a few things because there has been a few delays. Um, uh, first delay was uh, the GTX 580 that I got sent wasn't referenced so we've not been able to water cool it and we were trying to get the uh, replacement 580 sorted out and um, the, my, my contact at NVIDIA um, it, 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 everything seems to have kind of gone wrong with this because he'd had a baby and he was off of, or oh, sorry, his wife had a baby and he was off of, on paternity leave so we couldn't get the thing signed off so we've had to kind of stick with the um, GTX 580 uh, DC2 from Asus but it's just lucky that it's a great card anyway so it's not really too much of a problem it just means that the, we're just going to have the CPU water cooled. Um, Second thing, there's been a delay with the CPUs. Originally, I got sent engineering sample CPUs, which for me is not a problem, but I'm not allowed to uh, send them to you or do anything with them. They're literally for me to use uh, to the point where when I finish with them at the end of things, um, you know, people think that you can sell everything, but these things, they've literally got to sit in a box and uh, it gets to a point where I have to destroy them, like drill holes in them and stuff like that, because um, we're not allowed to do anything with them with the public. And I can get in a lot of trouble uh, if they get out into the kind of marketplace and stuff. So we, uh, the, I knew when I originally proposed the competition that it might take a little while for the CPUs to come through um, because of the flow with the 2011 stuff. So I knew it was going to be, uh, you know, pushing things anyway. But when they did arrive, uh, and they did arrive in time, which the, the Intel were amazing when they pushed that through, but when they did arrive... Um, like I said, they're engineering, so we've then had, they've had to go away and uh, try and get me retail ones. Um, but it's not as simple as just going to a shop, and it's all very, very complicated. And I can't explain it any better than that. But when they arrive, they will get finally finished um, because I've not put the uh, the, the water cooling in yet. Because there's no point me just putting it in there and hanging the the block in there. I'll do it all when it's finished because I'm not going to send the units with water in them anyway. Uh, it will be for the, the the winners to fill up and leak test themselves. It's just one thing, you know, having to fill them up and then drain them all out again for posting. It's just it's so much work. I've really just not got the time. So we've got this done as best as we can. All, all the roofs, uh, the radiators in, the roofs modded, everything's ready to go. But what I, we are going to do is we're now going to, because I don't know, I'm hoping within the next week or so that the CPUs are going to arrive. Uh, we're going to leave the competition open now to the 31st of March. Uh, if the CPUs are not um, with us by the 31st of March, we're going to close the competition anyway. And then um, we'll pick the winners and I'll announce it because everyone keeps asking me how we're going to announce it and all that kind of stuff. It will be announced on the forums. Um, I will send out um, a, a newsletter to let you know when the results are going to be announced on the, the, to the forums. Um, so yeah, and it, it will not be straight away. Don't be thinking the competition closes at midnight. By one o'clock, I'm going to announce the winners. It's not going to work like that. It will be. It could be. You know, uh, two weeks later. Say it really. It will fit around my schedule. The competition will close, and then at a later date, we'll do that. But I will let everyone know. I may drop it into a subscriber video, post it onto Facebook. Um, and I'll also send out a newsletter to let you know when I will be announcing it on the forums. Um, and we will announce it in the uh, 2012 Madness competition thread. So you can already go and find that thread. Uh, that will be where I'll put it. In fact, I will put a link to the thread underneath because basically what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll let you know a time and a date that we will be announcing the winners. Um, and then if you want to be online to see who's won, that's completely up to you. Uh, last year it created quite a bit of hype and stuff. So, um, yeah, I do like to drum up a bit of that. But competition will close at the very latest on the 31st of March now. And I will try and get um, results picked and we'll go like we'll be looking to do it. It's kind of uh, before the 14th of April or something like that. But I'm not giving that as concrete date. It may go over it. I don't know. We will literally be doing it in and around my schedule and what I need to do. Um, and you know when I can fit it on the forums and all that kind of stuff. So it's a bit complicated. It's very open. You're just going to have to um, keep an eye on the the thread and Facebook and stuff and see what's going on. Like I said, I will be uh, sending out uh, uh, newsletters and stuff anyway. So that's all of that. Uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, bring her in, have a look, quick look around the rig because she's all done. 
well, as much as we can do. Oh, there we go. It was just a little bit stuck. As you can see, the, the rad's kind of pretty dominant in there. But uh, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and give you a good look around it. I'm going to do it old school way with the camera in my hand. Right then. So, starting from the bottom. The Endomax, Platimax, 850 watt Platinum. I did spin the... Uh, or remember to spin the Enamax grill round before I um, uh, made the video. We've got the two Kingston HyperX solid state drives in the bottom. I'm not sure, it seems a bit jerky today, the video, or at least it does on my camera here anyway. Obviously we've got the monstrous Asus GTX 580 DC2, triple slot Monstar. We've obviously got everything in there with um, uh, alchemy braided cables, including the alchemy braided satyrs. You can see just disappearing out the back. Uh, braided 24 pin, braided 8 pin is here. I had to look then. Now we've got the uh, um, XSPC in at the moment, uh, but I may be spinning that round because of how tight that is up against that. Um, fan at the back. I may just drop a 120 millimeter fan in, sorry, so we've got a little bit more room, but at this present moment in time it's really, really tight in there. So I may just spin that round before it goes. Um, we'll just have to see uh, a bit closer to the time. <laughs> like I said, it's been so difficult to get everything done with this. Um, we've got all the fans in the roof, but what I've done. Ta da! The drawer's gone. Now it's not the cleanest lines in the world. Um, it's sorry, it's not the cleanest lines in the world. Uh, mainly because I've had to um, like sand the the plastic and stuff because I cut it with a Dremel and I sand it. So that's what the white lines are. The the light the cuts are relatively straight. They're not kind of engineer perfect, but it's not bad for um, 20 minutes work, which is what it was. And basically I've cut out that side as well. Like I said, these lines are straight, but the, what makes it not look straight is the fact that I've had to sand all the edges and stuff, so it's all slim. But you're only going to be able to use that pocket now for the, um, uh, the power button. So you can open it up, turn it on, turn your lights on and off, that kind of stuff. And then that's it. And it will still eventually blow up there. I was going to try and um, put some mesh in here. But I didn't have uh, one piece of mesh big enough to be able to do it. I would have needed another bit of roof, really, to have been able to have cut it. And what I would have tried to have done was followed the line down. Um, but there was no way I could do it with mesh that would match. And I, it, the mesh that I had was so blatantly different to this, it would have looked out of place. And I'd, I'd rather just leave it as it is than do it not right, if that makes any sense. If I could have got another bit of roof, I did ask... Um, bit phoenix if i could have a another bit of roof mesh uh, and they were going to try and get me some but it, i just never would have got here in time um because then i could have cut a bit of roof mesh cut the uh roof the, the the flap as i'd wanted it and then i could have had it all in there and it could have looked like it was meant to have been there and that would have been awesome but like i said i just couldn't get this in time um alas never mind uh one of those things it will still do its job and let's face it that 360 millimeter radiator is going to be overkill for just the cpu anyway so it's really not going to be too much of a problem um so yes i stand i've got to watch go careful because the uh the bent trick's just over to that side i've had to move it out of the way so i don't have to go real careful on what's there um but there we go that's the finished article Obviously, we need all we need to do really is drop the uh, the bay resin and uh, chuck some hose in, so it's not too much of a problem. But yeah, that's it. So that's Envy um, 3960X. Uh, we've got a gigabyte. Um, uh, oh, there we go. I'm trying to find the thing so I can actually show you. There we go. G1 Assassin 2. We've obviously got the Asus GTX 580 DC2. We've got a 16 gigabyte of um, 
Uh, what have we got? 16 gigabyte of Kingston 2133 uh, memory in there. Then we've got uh, the Enamax Platimax 850 watt platinum power supply, two 120 gigabyte Kingston HyperX solid state drives, all in a modified uh, Bit Phoenix Colossus. So there's a fair amount of kit in there. So there you go guys. Hope you like it. That's the first place rig done and dusted. Don't forget we're going to close the competition on the 31st of March now. Entries will be announced at some point on the forums after that but I will be posting up to let you know when I will be announcing it so you can be online to um, find out. Uh, but this is it. I'm going to love you and leave you. This is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Out.